And there it is taking off Cape Canaveral strapped to the back of a 747 jumbo jet. NASA's oldest and most traveled shuttle took one more victory lap over the beaches of Cape Canaveral. The shuttle doing a flyby then of Washington, D.C. monuments today before going to its future home that will be the Smithsonian. Private companies, um, they're going to take some of the, I mean, they're going to fly people yeah. to the international, or astronauts to the International Space Station. That's right, right? Absolutely. And, and Elon Musk, SpaceX, uh, you know, seems to be the leader right now in the driver's seat. Two weeks from now, he's going to perform the biggest test to date for his company. The Hubble Space Telescope, it uh, performed several Hubble repair missions. It was also uh, the uh, shuttle that was used in the return to space missions after the Challenger disaster. Uh, and then again after the Columbia disaster. Day. And, and boy, listen, New Yorkers are very excited <clears throat> about getting the Enterprise. It was actually a test shuttle. As right. we look, though, at the discovery, a lot of people may be wondering, well, wait a minute. <clears throat> Why doesn't the shuttle just fly <laughs> into Washington, D.C. by itself? The answer is it doesn't really have <laughs> conventional engines. When it enters right. Earth's atmosphere from space, it actually is gliding without any engines. And, you know, commanders... Uh, have often said, you know, it's kind of like trying to guide a, a, a heavy right. brick because you don't have engines. You are simply uh, gliding into your landing, controlled mostly That's by right. computers. You, you, you mentioned the, the Enterprise, which has...